Hey, welcome back. Simon Lee's here again. Got another jam track video I'm going to do for you today. The tune that I'm going to base this one on is by The Jam and it's called A Town Called Malice. Um, it's got a great bass line. It's got an interesting bass line to be honest. It's quite, uh, it, it, it changes key when you wouldn't necessarily think it did. So it's going to lend itself to some interesting ideas for the for the solo and it's going to be, uh, might give me a couple of different options for different scales. I might be able to sneak in, you know, sort of uh, break the mould as it were. Um, right, so can I get the tempo? It's a nice bouncy tune, so uh, yeah, we'll see what... Uh, see what tempo is right for this one. It's a bit slower than that, believe it or not. Um, that's closer. to groove as well as being sort of uplifting. It needs to be solid at the same time. Yeah. I'm going to go for that, I think. That's fine. Okay. Uh, right, I'll do the... I'll do the guitar first again. I'm, <laughs> I'm sort of... I like the idea of doing this because it, it means that it's easier to sort of keep track of where I am in the song so I can get the drums um, I haven't got to try and imagine what the what part of the song I'm on to be able to do the drums you know um, you know what I'm going to do the bass first because the bass is a it, it's kind of like the lead instrument um, so yeah bear with me Select the bass channel and we'll we'll hit it. Just make sure I've got a sound. So that's gonna be the, the gist of it. stuff going on. Is it the pre-roll maybe? Not sure. enough uh, that's that pretty much covers the, the verse the pre-chorus and the chorus you know so uh, yeah right that's working yeah uh, 
Um, it was something to do with the sync. That's why it wouldn't uh, the, the the recording wouldn't start right. So I must have hit something accidentally. You sort of take it for granted, you know. Every time you you start Cubase, it's going to work the same way. And normally it does, <laughs> but every now and again <laughs> it catches me out. Now, what sort of sound to use on the guitar? I haven't sort of plan this but it's got to be clean ish but I don't think it needs to be crystal clean and certainly not as dirty as that uh, okay it's going to be a nitpick up I think I think it's a neck pickup. I've got the coil tap on, um, and uh, yeah, I'll just zoom it in a little bit so you can see see what my fingers are doing. Cool. It's going to be something like that. As if it's not 100% precise. Notice the um, the guitar emphasised the snare drum beat um, rather than following the bass um, sort of groove, you know. So, but it's easy to forget that because the bass groove is such a strong um, part of the thing, you know. It's like a real Motown groove. Okay, so I'm just needing that up a little bit. Okay, now I need to get the quantize right for this because it's got a triplet, it's got a real proper swing to it, this one. It's got to be 16th triplet, I think, and it might need a little bit of editing towards the end, so I better crack on. Make sure you start at the beginning. Stick it 
take a load of those on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Vary the, uh, the intensity a little bit. Duplicate the intro. 
because the intro is the same as the chorus, so you just end up with two lots of chorus. close on nine minutes so I think nine minutes of solo should give me time to uh, hopefully play something decent. I'm just going to check the loop make sure that's worked. <laughs> the imagination a little bit. <laughs> it's not the it's not the typical thing you'd expect to put a rock guitar solo to but um, it's part of the fun in a way.
okay, well, I, I managed to sort of get some uh, some bits and bobs there. Um, yeah, what can I say? Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching again, and uh, hope to catch you on the next one. Cheers.